Hello friends and welcome back to my channel and if you are new this channel is all about digital painting tutorials so today I'm gonna paint this nice landscape and uh, for that let's move to our Photoshop so I'm right now in my Photoshop screen and you can see there are different colors that I'm gonna use today with the color codes you can just copy it and use the same if you are following me along with this tutorial now make a landscape selection like this with a rectangle marquee tool in a new layer and paint it with a solid color using color fill bucket now switch to the brush tool use a soft round brush 100% opacity 100% strength just switch to a different color from here with the eyedropper tool again switch back to the brush tool by using shortcut B and paint it similarly paint another color select another color and paint in a horizontal way this way i am making a nice gradient kind of look for the background and uh, just keep on doing the same thing by choosing a different color using eyedropper tool and using the soft round brush to paint it make sure you have an active selection of that rectangular area while doing this so that nothing get beyond that selection area so this is making my edges clean and now it's time to blend it the way to blend it is use eyedropper tool select one of the intermediate color from here like this and just paint it using the brush tool now select from here paint it you can see how nice the texture is coming up it's like completely blended all together you can just repeat this until you are happy with the result for that particular shade like i'm doing for the blue thing now it's time for blue to the violet color choose intermediate color of the both the shades and just paint it You can see this is coming up this is making the textures more even more enhanced i am using a vacom tablet vacom pen tablet for this purpose it is a very very beginner friendly you can use any of the tablet and if you are using any of the tablet right now you can just go ahead and follow with me along in the tutorial or if you want to purchase one the one that i'm using right now the link is in the description below you can just go ahead and purchase for yourself too and now you can see things are pretty much blended all together and uh, you can just go ahead and blend it well until you are happy with the results as i've already said and once done with that make a new layer from the layer panel here select the cream color shade and using same brush i'm just tapping two to three times on just one place switch to the white color make a little smaller brush size and just tap in this makes the sun and is great to be used now use the hard round brush very very lower opacity say 20 percent or even lower than that and just scribble around this will make the clouds as you can see these are making just simple clouds leave the stroke once done and repeat over there this will increase the opacity for that particular cloud and just you can also increase the brush size and paint it around you can see how nice effects are coming up it's it's more like a mist nothing is constrained nothing is in a proper shape everything is like from beyond like it's a dreamy thing just scribble more on few places here and there to make scattered cloud effect and if you are happy with that now it's time to make another element for our landscape that's other 
mist. For that, I'm using the soft round brush. Switch to the soft round brush from here. And just paint in a random way to create a little mist around the clouds. I think this is looking nice. So make a new layer or you can just continue in the same layer. Use hard round pressure size brush from the brush panel here. Switch to the black color and just make a hot air balloon. Oops, I was having a lower opacity. Just make sure your opacity is 100% and make one. You can use the color fill bucket tool to fill it up inside. Yeah, make it in a proper shape. You can either scribble and fill it up or use the color fill bucket. And just complete the hot air balloon from downwards with a basket thing. Once done, select use the selection tool. Select that particular area, Ctrl J to make a duplicate in a duplicate layer. And you can just adjust the size. By free transformation, use the transformation controls and adjust your size depending on whatever thing that you need to be done. Just place over different areas, making a far or close kind of effect. The closer will be the bigger ones, the far more will be the smaller ones. I'm making the duplicate thing below the cloud layer so that it's giving a nice up and down thing not like everything is here and clouds are far no it's making a nice effect all together so i want to make a last one will be the very very big one that will be the very close to us for that use the original one just duplicate that particular subject as we did earlier make it in a bigger size and why I'm doing this? Because the smaller, if I expand the smaller to be a greater one, bigger one, then that will be the very, very blur effect. So with this, make the selection active of that but background thing and delete the outside area. So with this, I'm done with today's landscape painting and if you like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon, like this video and share it out with your friends too.